Hi, welcome to our channel, Our Spanish Adventures. This is my six month review of my TGB Blade 600 LTX quad. I've done around 2,500 kilometers, 80% of that off-road. So I'm here just to tell you a little bit about my quad and how I have found riding it. It's got a 600cc liquid cooled engine, front and rear disc brakes, a selectable two and four wheel drive and three stage EPS. The vehicle weighs around 400 kilograms, 45 horsepower and around 48 newton meters of torque. She's got an 18 litre fuel tank and I always carry an extra 10 litre jerry can. She does around 8.9 litres per 100 kilometres. For those of you in the UK, that's around 31 imperial miles per gallon. So she's quite thirsty. But obviously when you ride a quad, that makes no difference to anything. It's just the fun of riding it. Okay, so I'll go from front to back. She's got a powerful 3,000 pound winch at the front and controllable from the handlebars. We've got a 42 litre extra storage unit on the front which sits on a composite rack. Same at the back, composite rack, 120 litre storage. Standard hand guards, we've added as an extra heated grips. There's two 12 volt outlets one inside the compartment at the front here and another one here. This one here has been converted to USB ports to use for our navigation and for helmet charging when needed. We've added a few round mounts at the front and at the back for our GoPro cameras. There's a mount here for my phone which I use for navigation. LCD display here which gives loads of information, RPM, average miles per hour, gear selector, Blah, 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 loads, I can't remember, but I don't look at it much anyway, I just enjoy riding my quad. Okay, so we've also added down here some rubber inserts, both sides on the floorboards. That really helps with the vibration on your feet when you're doing six or seven hours off-road. Nice big comfortable seat here, and the pillion seat is particularly comfortable with a nice backrest and some hand grips. Um, I have my little pack here, which has all my bits and pieces, for batteries for the GoPro, we don't always have cell phone coverage, so we always carry a PLB for emergencies, safety first and all that. What I like about the way it looks. Chunky, I love it. Big chunky bike. Loved it the first time I sat on it in the shop, made my mind up there and then that I wanted one. It's got some funky 12 inch black anodized alloy wheels. Some nice blue decal and some splashes of blue elsewhere that makes it look really pretty important if you're a girl. Tow hitch on the back. So servicing wise, it comes up quite quick. That's every 2000 kilometers. And that's changing the engine oil and the filter and front and rear differential oils. That can be a bit tricky. So we have a little gadget, see here, to help with that. And maintenance, she gets pressure washed and cleaned down properly after every time we've been out. Just to check everything over, six, seven hours off-road is very rough. Got a lot of vibration. So things work loose. A particular thing to check is the parking brake because that section vibrates loose. And the normal checks on tire pressure, alloy wheels, lights. I absolutely love my quad. I laugh like a loon most of the time when we're riding. If you've watched any of our videos on our YouTube channel, that's me laughing hysterically pretty much all the time. It's brilliant, such good fun. Got plenty of power going uphill, plenty of grunt. Coming downhill is very controlled. I feel very safe. Super smooth on the flats. And she trail brakes beautifully. Around the corner, she tucks in really tight. And over the bumpy bits, fantastic suspension, so still very comfortable. All in all, I think she's great. Fantastic. And for what I paid, 9,500 euros, I think a bargain. And I would definitely buy one again. Some people have asked me why I've changed from a motorcycle to a quad. I've ridden motorcycles for around the last 10 years, including big cruisers and trials bikes, and finishing up with a Himalayan 400 
for the first six months of living in Spain, which I thoroughly enjoyed. But we were going more and more off-road and the trails we were following were getting a little bit difficult for me and I wanted to feel safe, but I also wanted to accompany my husband on his off-road outings on his bone rally. So I changed to a quad and it was important to me that the quad could keep up with the motorcycle, both on tarmac and off-road, and this does the job. It's brilliant. If you've enjoyed this review and would like to see some more of our videos of the TGB and my husband's Vogue 300 Rally, head on over to our channel, Our Spanish Adventures, and you can like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.